Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Jacob Folger, artist sculptor, and today we're going to do a painting, um, and we're going to try. We're going to do a tree uh, landscape, and it, it will be somewhat abstract, but uh, it will give you an idea of how to paint a tree uh, and landscape. Um, we're going to be working on a canvas board. Um, it's a uh, it's like cardboard, heavy duty cardboard with canvas on it. And um, it's just a kind of an economical way to paint. Um, these are fairly inexpensive. I find them on eBay, Amazon, places like that. So um, I'm going to be using uh, a brush. Uh, this is my brush. It's, uh, it's a soft bristle brush. And I'm going to be using, to start off with, uh, Vallejo Blue, and uh, what I want to do is start the scene with the sky. So I'm going to put this right on the canvas, and I'm just going to start painting it in. And I want to cover the whole canvas with the paint. Let me get a little bit more on there. Just brush it in, work it into the canvas, and then once you've got it covering the whole canvas, just go back and forth like this to get it kind of smooth. Now, one thing I should tell you is when you're putting the cap on or taking it off, hold it away from the painting because sometimes. Uh, crumbs will fall into the painting and you don't want that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off my brush. Just get most of the paint off. And I'm going to get uh, some bright aqua green. And I'm going to put it right on my brush, like that. And I'm just going to kind of paint in a little bit just to add some interest to the sky that we're trying to paint. You can go, you can cover the whole, you know, just go and do the whole, cover the whole uh, canvas with a, with a, with two different colored paint, so it's kind of interesting. And, uh, and then we're going to wait a little bit for that to dry, and we'll come back. Okay, we're going to get started again. And I'm going to, by the way, we're using, uh, Utrecht Studio Series Acrylic. It's about $6 for an 8-ounce uh, tube like this. <clears throat> and um, I'm, I have already put some, I've got a piece of watercolor paper here that I'm going to use. Uh, and uh, that's going to be my palette. And I'm using a small brush like this. And I'm just, uh, what I do is I work it into the paint a little bit like this and kind of brush it and get it kind of relaxed. See, it's more relaxed here. And then I'm just going to uh, take the brush and just kind of go down like that. Just make a nice little flowing line. And, uh, and then I'm going to get a little bit more paint in my brush. Notice I'm not, I'm not trying to get a dark white line. I'm just, it's a very flowing, uh, kind of just barely covering the, the background. Very relaxed. Just be relaxed. So get, um, have some paint on your brush. And now I'm just going to uh, just uh, run the, the brush over to create the tree. I'll get a little bit more paint and I'll go like that 
and nice smooth flowing lines. It's not hard. This is not hard to do. You just have to try it. I mean, that's the main thing. Just trying it. And uh, like that. Branches, right? Just nice relaxed lines. Just relax with it, get a little more paint on your brush, and add branches. I'm going to just fill this in a little bit here. And these are now I'm kind of doing the roots. Kind of get just relaxing with it now. With some roots. And uh, we'll add more to the tree up here. Up here. Real white touch. Like poetry, like poetry. Yeah. And it's kind of, the, the uh, tree is like part of the sky, you know, it's got some of the blue in there because the painting is not completely dry from when we put the sky on. You see, it's not, it's really, it's very pretty, and it might be like, wow, how can I possibly paint that in 10 minutes? But yeah, I mean, this is, this is it. This is the truth. Right here, the truth shall set you free. And so... Uh, and then what I like to do is um, I'll just take a little bit of white and kind of just touch the ground here and add a little bit of texture to the, uh, the ground that the tree is sitting on. Like that. And then uh, I'm going to do a moon because I like moons. And I'm going to do a moon right here. And I'm just going to, you know, sometimes painting a circle is kind of hard. But if you do it the way I do it, it'll be abstract. It'll be really pretty and very interesting. So watch this now. Um, just what we're really going over it. Just not trying to really fill it in, but you know, just kind of a suggested shape of a moon. Now, so I've got that 
in there a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is going to take a little bit of paint on my brush here. And assuming that this right here is actually water, I'm going to draw in a, a painting a little bit of reflection for the moon. So I'm just going to go like this. And it's just uh, a very light kind of touch. And uh, yeah, this is this is how I do it. It's very it's really very simple. Just gonna try to define the moon a little bit more. So then uh, this will take uh, maybe uh, a, a few hours to dry. You can see, very pretty tree landscape painting. So uh, if you could, please give the video a like. Share it with your friends and family. Let people know that it really is not that hard to paint a, a, a abstract tree landscape. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.